Guys, real quick before we jump into this week's vlog, we just wanted to tell you real quick, tomorrow, February 2nd at 9 a.m. out Standard Time, we are gonna be dropping our brand new hoodies. But the catch is, you have to download our app. They'll only be available at, on our app or here at the expo. Casey, you nailed it, dude. So we got the Tundra camo hoodies. Uh, these are custom made. Got some small branding down here. Otherwise, this is kind of like our new Tundra camo that we've been rocking in the hats for a long time. We've got the foamy hats, and then we got the OG old school brown duck camo hoodie. Both, again, available on the Hush Mobile app. iOS or Android, hit the scan code, search it in the stores, grab a hoodie. Pretty much anywhere you download your apps, you can download our app, but if it, you wanna make it easy, just go and scan right here. Scan it. Scanning. Guys, welcome back to the Hush Life Vlog. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's Monday. Uh, this is the Monday before the Big Hunt Expo, which is Thursday through Sunday. And we got this ginormous U-Haul because we're taking down a whole bunch of our taxidermy. Uh, shoulder mounts, European mounts, skull plates, dead heads, sheds, you name it, we're taking it to the Hunt Expo because we have a ginormous booth this year and we need to fill it up with a bunch of stuff. So, got Martin here. He's uh, got some stuff in the Hugh Hall already. We're going to help him get some stuff into the show. He's going to help us load ours. All hands on deck. Yeah, just like good old the good old days. And then we got Matty Ice behind the camera, Braden in there. I think he's just... He disappeared. Yeah, he's just really probably in the bathroom thinking about what he's done wrong today, which is get, <laughs> get his truck stuck pretty dang bad. Matt had to go freaking rescue him. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But we want to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of all the work that goes into the booth. Super excited for Hunt Expo. It's always a chance to to meet you guys and, and see a lot of familiar faces and meet a lot of new people. So I think this is going to be the biggest Hunt Expo to date. And this is definitely our biggest booth to date. So we put a lot of time and energy. BMAC's been working a lot behind the scenes, getting getting the booth ready. So we're gonna show you guys the shop too. I don't know if you guys have seen it for a while, but it's looking a little stuffed. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Probably open it up. We got all the heads coming out. Not all the <clears throat> okay, here's the shop. Whoa. I don't know what's going on in here, but something's beeping. So a couple things we're gonna do is we're gonna load up some merchandise. This is some of Chag's stuff. We have this Barnwood wall display that actually came out of Shields um, here in Sandy, Utah. We're taking the general, we're taking the shed antler set up on the wall, elbows deep, fire bowl, my Colorado bowl, and a bunch of random sheds and heads. So. We'll show you guys as we're moving stuff, but um, I'm just glad it's a sunny day and it's not snowing because this could be miserable when it when it's snowing and wet. So <clears throat> here we go, trying to do Tetris in the U-Haul, see how this stuff all fits the best. cross that we get down there all right guys check it out guys so this this is an archery bull i killed in 2018 probably one of my best seasons yet both this bull 
and that bull we call the general I killed in the same season. And a lot of people are like, you're never gonna beat that year. And I'll tell you what, I, I may never beat that season, but this bull, if you haven't been able to see him in person, it's just got a really, really pretty typical frame. And I don't know, it just kind of has, he's not weak anywhere. He's not crazy good anywhere, except maybe these backs, but he's just big. He's the heaviest bull I've got. And uh, it's kind of deceiving, but he really does carry his mass all the way through. This little extra was cool. I didn't know he had that. But uh, Curtis from Monarch Mountain Taxidermy mounted him up. I got him on a pedestal for my buddy Mitch Giles. But yeah, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty bull. He'll be at the expo. And for those of you who aren't able to uh, come down and check him out, we thought we'd give you a quick walk around of each one of these. Bull number two, we're bringing out of the old South Slope shop, the Fire Bull. It's definitely a staple of the YouTube channel and the brand. For those of you who may not know, may have just have started following the brand recently, this antler right here is the mark of the Hush brand. Um, the year before I killed him, my buddy Jared Wolsey got him on trail camera. He had a point going off his fifth and then he had an extra going off right here. And on that broadside shot, it kind of looked like a flame, like fire. So it's Jared who named the bull Fire Bull and I killed him the following year where he had even more of like what would look like a flame. I've taken this down to Expo for many years and it's still requested uh, for the people who haven't been to Expo and haven't seen them in person. So we're taking the Fire Bull. This is the original cape. And if you, for those of you who have watched the video, fun fact on this mount, this is a scar from the first shot um, when I did not kill him, I hit him in the shoulder blade. And then uh, it was 12 days after that that I finally got a second chance at him, killed him. But this was done by Bragging Rights Taxidermy. And they did some cool custom leather work on the back. So Eric Chesser, Fireball 394. That was a rough score that a Boone and Crockett score gave him um, before the 60 day driving period. It's never been official, but he's somewhere around there. All fired up, archery 2013, man. So 2013 was another good year in my life. Next up, the general. We uh, kind of, all these bulls somehow end up with certain names, but this one called the general because I shot him on the general season 2018. Uh, right here close to home. So cool bull. A lot of people had this guy on trail camera. Um, Martin, I think had seen him the year before. Or? Yeah, I saw him that winter, I think before. Yeah, just honestly, Pretty dang big bull for the area he was killed in. He had a lot of character points. His fifth is all bladed out. He's got this crotch point over here. And even with these tiny short beams, he still pushed like over 350. But he, you know, he does have some good length, but he's just so tight and short on the width. He'll be at the booth. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get him down there. That bull, that bull is like a, it's a giant for the unit. Like a 260 bull is like your average elk up there. Mm -hmm. So to have a 355 bull, you know, get killed is unheard of. Definitely the upper end of that zone. Like, huh? cra yeah, it'd be like a, it'd be a 390 plus bull on an LE <laughs> unit equivalent. <Stinky. laughs> this thing is one of the most random, unique freaks I've ever seen and found myself. He has a really cool inline frame over there, but his Royal's about nine inches long. He had a wire stuck around his leg and a big infection. And I think he was packing that the whole time he grew these antlers, which made him grow funky. But talk about mass right here. So he's a little weirdo. Uh, he was in the shed hunting series. We're gonna take him down if people wanna see him. Right, we got Colorado bull. Colorado? I was here for this one, it was fun. It was a grind. This is a uh, behind the scenes at Hunt Expo. This is Monday. They actually start building out some of the bigger stuff on Sunday. And we're able to drive in on Monday and I think Tuesday too, but it starts to get tight as the booths start to build up and people start to get all their inventory and stuff in here. So we're trying to navigate all the way through the hall and around the corner to our booth. Uh, a lot of moving parts to make this expo happen. Like everything from the carpet guys, the signage guys, the lights. It's a lot of stuff, man. But it sure is a fun weekend. 
once we get this load done, we're gonna actually head over to BMAX and pick up his elk and all his taxidermy too. And after that, we should be able to return the U-Haul and rest up for the night, come back and actually start building the booth out. Hey there, are you haulers. Why should we go? Hauling? What are you hauling? <laughs> this guy's hauling. Where should we Our go? booth is a giant. I got yelled at once already. Like, way bigger than I thought. We just rolled in. We're gonna have to do mud wrestling in the corner. Dummy lock. Welcome, welcome to my home. I believe we're here to do a pickup. Good news is if uh, things ever go sideways with Hush, this moving crew, it's something special. Maddie, Braden. Eric, just the guy, the old guy, has been here for 20 years, moved everything you can imagine, really hates the big heavy oak stuff, armoires, freaking hates them. What's up? <laughs> nice you got this stuff up here. I got everything but the bases, you know? Yeah. Guys, I mean, yeah. I'd Mac for the vlog. Guys, doing the tedious stuff. Stuff that you would never even consider looking at when you get here to the show. <laughs> but uh, gotta clean up our space, you know? Gotta make it look good. Excited to share the new booth space with everybody. Uh, they moved our location because they opened up an entire new section of the expo this year. So they asked us to kind of like be here. Uh, so we had to design a new booth entirely. Uh, we had the previous booth kind of the same for I guess the last couple years but we're in a good spot we're right next to our buddies at Vortex we're gonna have Exo Mountain Gear backpacks next to us we're gonna have our Golly and we're gonna have Weatherby so it should be a cool little zone um, I hope you guys love the booth if you make it took a lot of uh, a lot of time to try to plan it out and make uh, again a good experience easy to shop fun cool stuff to look at and so anyways we're in the we're in the early stages of putting it all together Got a lot of work to do before the show kicks off Thursday, but it's gonna be, uh, it's always a fun week. One of our more enjoyable weeks. Getting that, say hello, share hunting stories, and just really give some appreciation to everybody that supports us over the years, so. do. But Matt built my pack to where I've got a tent, a sleeping bag, some knickknacks, and then a dozen sheds, which we've done multiple times. So people can uh, just come try it on and see how it feels. It's hard to compress it, you know? Like oh, a real a real pack would be even more just heavier, more solid. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are getting so very so close. Tomorrow is the first day of the expo, February the second, and we will be running it all the way until Sunday. But look at what we have so far. Biggest booth space we've ever had. We brought all of our taxidermy bulls from like the same lineup we brought last year, plus a couple new ones. We'll have kickstand here and then some other new things over this barnwood wall, but we have our mountain op stuff set up. It's gonna be a pretty ergonomic layout. You can go right, you can go left. We have the Can-Am, check out this beaut. With the awning out, kind of staged it with some shed antlers. Um, if you guys make it, you'll be able to touch it. Maybe you can drive it, I don't know, you gotta find the keys. It's like a shed hunt, then you can drive it. Got this kind of little chill hangout spot. We've got water bottles this year in three different colorways. Um, the lightning green. Forest brown and jet black. Some Yetis. We have, like the guy said at the beginning of the video, we will have our 
camo, our tundra and our duck. A couple new designs like this bow hunter design. We have all of our seasoning six packs. Then we have this wall, which is my favorite piece so far, This uh, our booth this year. But this is like our 2022 stuff that we killed. This is our Alaska wall right here. Casey killed this on barren ground. I killed this bull on North Slope. Maddie found this crazy head. Once again, if you guys make it here, you'll be able to get close, look at it. We have Eric's Colorado Redemption Bull. We have the Chainsaw Bull, Fire Bull Replica, Brian's Arizona Bull, Casey's most recent big bull, Gage's Whitetail and Antelope, and then Casey and his wife's Bucks. We also brought Braley's Moose, which has been a big request that we bring her moose. So he made it here. That's kind of like the butler wall over there. That's all of Casey's family stuff. We got Eric back to back here. We have a bow on display. We have my Idaho buck stationed up on the backpack. I need to bring the Weatherby gun. I'm gonna have that on there too. We have the shed backpack. This has how many, Matt? 12 or 13? 12. 12 horns on it. You guys can come pick it up, put it on your back and see what it's like to uh, find a lot of sheds, I guess. <laughs> so we got that and then it just loops around and the guys will be back here. Well, you guys, thanks for watching. We're getting really close. It'll. I'm gonna say right now, I think it'll be our best booth ever. So if you're in the area or if you're planning to come, use code HUSH, save $10, bring your family. It's fun. It's the whole show, our booth's bigger than ever, but the whole show is going to be bigger than ever with more booths. They've extended it. It's open all the way to the gills. So thanks for watching you guys. And if you're coming, we'll see you here. Peace. Peace.